You still in fights? Did I just do a bike bucket? There's no definitive set of rules for what's good and bad and with moral duty. What would you do if you caught somebody stealing your bike? Popping? What would you do if you caught somebody stealing your bike? Chase them down. And what would you do if you caught somebody stealing your bike? Slip their fucking throat. Some people think stealing any bike is unethical. I don't agree with that. When it's okay to steal bicycles. There are two kinds of bikes in this world. Only two kinds of bikes. Somebody's bike and nobody's bike. Somebody's bike means it belongs to someone, anyone. Nobody's bike means it's just taking up space. In my book, if it's nobody's bike, it's okay to steal. Not okay. Not okay. No. Not okay. Not okay. No, no, no. You can't steal any of these bikes. Even this fucked up one. And it has nothing to do with the fact that there's a cop car right there. Still not okay. This one's a tough call. Rusted chain. Flat tire. Two flat tires, but it's really well locked. Three U-locks, which means somebody cares about this bike. I don't think it's okay. This one's okay to steal. Tools for stealing bicycles, on a scale of shit to good. We begin with a total piece of shit, the hacksaw. This thing is good for nothing. Only an idiot would try to steal a bike with a hacksaw. Hey man, what are you doing? Never use a hacksaw. Next up are bolt cutters. These are good for robbing lockers at the YMCA, but just okay for stealing bikes. 
We end with my favorite tool, the angle grinder, an extremely dangerous device. You have to be very careful. This is by far the most effective chain cutting weapon. For this video, I use the slightly inferior cordless version.